The number one mistake people make when cooking during Thanksgiving or any other holiday is to leave food unattended in the kitchen. It's a moment when family gets together and there's a lot of distractions and people forget that they left something on the stove. So it's not far-fetched to understand that Thanksgiving is the number one day for the most residential fires in the United States. For those that are using ovens, you wanna make sure that you have a thermometer to make sure that the food is cooked thoroughly all the way through. Also, you wanna make sure that you are setting timers so that you don't forget about the turkey and it keeps bringing you back to check on it. Unfortunately, a lot of us like to enjoy a beverage, an alcoholic beverage during Thanksgiving, and that sometimes complicates things and makes it difficult to focus and keep your attention on what you're doing in the kitchen. Distractions abound. Many times you have little children that get burned, that enter the kitchen, and we wanna make sure that we keep pets and children at least three feet away from any hot surface or stove. The fire departments across the United States discourage people from frying turkeys unless you're very familiar with what they're doing. But unfortunately, most people that use these fryers use them in ways that they're not designed to be used. Number one thing is you don't want to use a fryer indoors. It needs to be done outside, open doors, and away from any wooden structures that can catch fire. Number two, it's overfilling the pot you're going to use with the fryer with too much oil. So what you can do first is fill it up with water to see how much oil you would need in there and mark that level of water that you need to have in there with the turkey. And number three, make sure that the turkey is thoroughly thawed out in the refrigerator before you fry it up. A frozen turkey is gonna react violently to canola or peanut oil that you may be using in your fryer. Make sure that you have a fire extinguisher nearby so that if you do have anything nearby catch fire, you're able to extinguish it rapidly before it does catch. We still go to fires where people do not have working fire alarms. Working fire alarms save lives, but sadly 20% of homes still have non-functioning smoke alarms or fire alarms as they're called. The Los Angeles Fire Department has a lot of good safety tips for the public. If you go to lefd.org, we have a lot of information on safety tips, not just for Thanksgiving, but throughout the year.